Don't read it. Well, I can read the Stop. front of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, welcome back to... Uh, <laughs> there's something in my eye. Ah! Well, welcome back to the uh, the Dirty Glass. And before you do anything else, I think you guys should probably go ahead and just give us a little like mm -hmm. down there. Also, go ahead and give us a little subscribe. Little and go ahead and hit the bell for notifications. I don't even know if it's down there, but that's where I'm imagining it's down there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but go ahead and give us a like, give us a subscribe if you like the channel, or if you dislike the channel, go ahead and give us a thumbs down, um, because either way, it helps the YouTube algorithm, and not a lot of people are doing it, mm -hmm. so you probably should, just saying. Reminder, reminder. Or we'll know. Push we know where line. you live. Most of you that subscribe to our <laughs> channel, we do. <laughs> Actually, creepily, we do. <laughs> so what are we drinking today? I hope I pronounced it right. <laughs> so, Subtle pause. The Tomatin. Tomatin. So today we're drinking the Tomatin Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, aged 12 years in bourbon and sherry casks, matured in a combination of traditional oak, ex-bourbon, and ex-sherry casks. Mm -hmm. um, two awards on the front of it on their box, uh, Whiskey Icons of Whiskey Scotland, Distiller of the Year 2016, and Brand Innovator of the Year 2017. Oh, I so, actually didn't even look at that. Pretty interesting. Um, not a lot. I don't know a lot about the, the scotch. Uh, this was <laughs> referred to us from a friend. Thank you, Chris, for the recommendation. Um, he knows we like scotch, and he mm -hmm. went ahead and sent me a picture of this and said, this is great. You got to try it. And that was Super about excited. two months ago. Uh, <laughs> and I want to say it might actually have been longer than that. that maybe it, it could have been, but it was. Uh, <laughs> so we saw this on the shelf, put it in the lineup, and uh, again, we're. I'm excited to try it. Mm -hmm. Brand new box, so pretty. That was a good little thing. No, I was, was going to throw the boxes, but at me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Just, Hit the camera and go <laughs> crazy. All right. Well, um, put the standby on. Put everything. So back it's a to Highland it single malt, um, and that's uh, yeah, bourbon sherry cast is twelve years. I'm not gonna get uh, the, 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 the. yeah. I'm really excited to to try it. So just so we can get a view of the Tomatin single malt twelve year. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. Turn it. Yeah. When you go, turn it out. Yeah. There you go. Other way. Yeah. All the prettiness. Woo, do the wave. Like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Oh, it's got a tear thing. I like that olive green. It's kind of nice. Let's do the tear thing. Let's not do too. the fancy knife thing. Let's do it. Cork rating. Ready? Ready. Ooh, oh, that's a good that one. Nice. I like that. 4.1. What's the highest you've done so far? 4.1. Not sure. <laughs> 4.1 is pretty good. Look at this. Come in hot. Empty. Hefty, hefty, hefty. Hefty. Oh. That old Ooh. commercial. Ooh. Hefty, Ooh. hefty, hefty. Wasn't that a garbage bag? <laughs> yeah, it was John Cena. <laughs> hefty, yeah. hefty, hefty, hefty. Can you see it? I hefty, could. Hefty, hefty. <laughs> good job. <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Also, I don't know if uh, you guys have noticed yet, but some of our, sa our, our SAG, some of our SAG <laughs> samples came in, dog. Um, some of our swag samples came in. Uh, this is the darker logo, which unfortunately you can't really see. On camera, you can see it really well. In person, you can't see it as well as on the dark colors. Um, we have right. switched that now. If you look at the Venetian gray Woo. that the look lady that. behind the camera has. It's in the, uh, our what is it called? Our white? The white run. White so we run. have the dark run, which is the dark logo. We have the white run, and we also have a plaid run now. Yes, um, which we will have soon so we can show you. We will. We have samples of those coming as well. And thank you to everyone that's purchased uh, some stuff mm -hmm. already, and we encourage you to do so as well because you look mighty fine. So thanks for the support, and also uh, we'll put a f the – not affiliate links. We'll put links in the about section or the description of the video, and it's also in the about section of our channel. <clears throat> so we'll pin that or uh, whatever. We'll do the YouTube thing later. Anyways, let's get into the Tomatin single, single malt 12 year. Swirl, swirl. I like watching it twirl. I love, wow. Honestly, this might be one of my top favorite noses I've had so far. It's fruity. 
Wow. <laughs> like, what are you going to say next? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, so it's fruity. It's fruity, but I can't. It's almost like apple. I'm trying to put a tongue nose on it. A tongue nose? Trying to no nosung it. I get a buttery fruit. Yeah, buttery fruit, malt. And there's an underlying, like. I kind of get it. It's got to be the sherry, the sherry cask. If you mix peach and f- mint, as silly as that might sound, I get like a peachy mint side to it. I'm getting a buttery, malty. I want to say almost a stone fruit um, with, there's like, it's that, I want to say a sherry finish on the nose. Mm-hmm. It, it, the uh, the, the <clears throat> sherry cask comes out slightly. And okay. I think that's what I'm getting. All right, down the hatch. Just it. Down the hatch. Whoa. Malty? Yeah. I have to think about this one for a second. I'm getting like malted oak. Yeah. Uh, the buttery side did come through to me on the palate as well. But the mouthfeel on this is fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's Really easy. good. It's smooth. Um, this has got to be percentage take it's a guess proofy i think it's proofy i don't on this one i think it, it gives a little bit on the it does the little proof dance it's doing a little proof jig on the back of my tongue and uh <whistles> getting a little numb back there <laughs> um okay i can see that i can seem a little a uh, seam i want to say 46 percent Forty-three. Okay. <laughs> it, hmm. it, it tastes a little stronger than that to me. It does. It is malty, buttery. The mouth feels really thick. I like that. Um, and the sherry's not coming through. The sherry cask isn't coming co- 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 coming quite through as much as I was hoping for. I don't get it either. It's almost a dry mouth feel as much as it is buttery. Um, I'm kind of really a blank on this. A second. I get the buttery malt on the taste a lot. Barrel buttered malt with a hint of stone fruit, and I can't put my tongue Ooh. on it. Okay, but I, I, I it's That's not green good. apple. It's just stone fruit. And there's another. There's a note in there that I, it's it's eluded me. My tongue just keeps. Searching for it. The mouth feels fantastic, though. Yeah, I really, I'm su- really like the mouth. I'm searching this one. for something, too. I'm going <clears> to <throat> add water, see if it comes out more. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Huh. By the way, best water dropper in the biz. David, thank you so much. <laughs> so it, it did look oily right off the get go. Give it a nice swirl. I am a swirling professional, I have a s- certificate for that. It's a beautiful it. honey <laughs> comb color, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. I get the buttery note even more. A buttery caramel. What is that? See, I'm getting more malt, more barley. I had a caramel side come out for me, and I like it it's soft. a lot. Yeah. Mm. Butter for sure. Mm-hmm. Really toned down the sweetness because it did have a sweeter side before the water. I'm, I'm still, still stuck. sticking with butterscotchy and like maybe a hint of honey in there. Yeah, stone fruit's gone with water. I really it's, like it's it though. Really, the the malted barley is really coming through though. Yeah, and, and I do like it. This is an easy drinker. Mm-hmm. Um, it's the finish is. I wish there's a little more of a finish on it.
Mm. Hmm. I don't. I can't get yeah, I like past it. the buttery, buttery scotch malt. I can't get past it. I think that's where I'm stopping. Actually, <clears throat> it is really malty, but I, I yeah. like it. It's a soft mm-hmm. malt, um, and it is buttery. Is a good way to describe that. It mm-hmm. it really is. It's <clears throat> mm, buttery. <laughs> it's almost like buttery, like when you when you're doing like uh, you know, <laughs> when you're bacon when you're. When you put butter in a pan and it almost gets to the point of, um, it's cooked You're to a high temperature, it. but it's it's not on the verge of burning, but it's getting there. Does yes. that make sense? That's the kind of buttery mm-hmm. I'm really getting. It's a really viscous, buttery boudoir of a misiness in your mouth. <laughs> boudoir. Boudoir. I don't know. That just that was the first thing I thought. <laughs> um, I actually, I do, I do really like it. I really and like it. I. I can see mm. why Chris recommended this for sure. Yep. It's a good single malt um, for 12 years. And it's, you know, the bourbon and the sherry cast doesn't really come through a lot for me, um, at least on the mouth. So what did, what do they say? Their 12 year is supposed to be smooth and silky overall, which okay. we definitely got that. It is, you said, matured in the scotch, bourbon, and a Spanish sherry casks. And the Ooh. aromas are supposed to be rich and fruity. With hints of, uh, it just says apples. It doesn't say like a green apple. Yeah, or... see, I didn't, I, I was borderline green apple. Mm-hmm. But it, like, it's, it is a, to me, it was more like really sweet stone fruit. Yeah. And then on the palette, it says um, pears with a hint of um, some nuts, like a mixture of nuts. Some and nut. then it's a long, oily finish. Now, I said I got a peachy side. Mm-hmm. You did. So I guess I, I, that fruity I can, side is I there. can see that it is fruity. Mm-hmm. I can definitely see that. But uh, what I get a lot of is the... Uh, I threw the cork, so I'm like reluctant to grab this bottle and <laughs> slosh it around all over the place. Um, <clears throat> what I'm getting at a lot is, is, I don't know, the oily, malty, yeah, Highland Seagull Malt Punch from Nerds, Usefully Careful, Select Kid, okay, Finish, just softer characters, precious spirit that doesn't overpower. It's oily, it's soft, it's butter oily. Butter yeah. oily is a good way to describe that. I guess it left me wanting more in the finish. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't decide if it was green apple or stone fruit, and I went with stone fruit because that it seemed like a sweeter stone fruit to me. Yeah, it's almost if you think of like a dessert, it's like a buttery fruit tart, Ooh, like baked. Yeah, that's a good way. That's kind of how that's I a see good it, way to describe it, like a but with with like malt thrown in there. Yeah, I, honestly, it's great scotch, mm. and I think the I don't remember the price point on this. I think it was. Well, I don't remember it I don't either. Remember, so it was reasonable. It was a reasonable price point because <laughs> I don't remember it. Um, I could see why Chris really liked it. Thank you for the rec- recommendation. Again, it's a good single malt, twelve uh, year. Are there some better ones out there that I've had? Sure. Are there ones that aren't as exciting as this I've had? Sure. Um, I think it's a nice mid range for it a single is. malt, a Highland single mm-hmm. malt scotch. And there's a lot of Highlands I do enjoy. Um, this one does have a little more of those sweeter, softer, fruitier flavors in it that are enjoyable to a lot of people. It's not anything heavy with peat or anything else like that. Right. So it's a good scotch. Um, this I could see being good as a mixer or neat, like how we drink mm-hmm. it. And I think it's, I just think it's really good. It yeah. is. It's just a nice, even keel. I'm glad we decided to go with this one tonight. It tastes really good. Even. Even. Kill. <laughs> I'm actually gonna have a little more of it. I the mouth. You went I really, through that really like. fast. I what? am still. <laughs> I still. Got I'm a some. trained professional. <laughs> I need to put it down the hatch more. Man. So if you guys want some clothing, uh, or I don't know what I was gonna say with that. If I was gonna say <laughs> or, um, if you guys do want some swag, we do have a fantastic lineup. It's probably the best lineup you'll ever see in the history of YouTube clothing that everyone's ever met met made ever um go ahead and go to teespring.com slash stores slash the dirty glass and also if you want to support the channel you want to support the whiskey fund so we can keep on doing reviews or if you just want to 
support the channel in general. Um, you guys can send us tastings, reach out to our email in the about channel, or mm-hmm. go to patreon.com slash the dirty glass if that's up your alley. If you'd like to donate it another way, reach out to us. Also, comment in our channel. We want to know what you guys are drinking, what you guys think, yep. um, and share with your friends, please. And thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to the next whiskey. Absolutely. So ditto to all of that. I hope everyone has a great week and taste away. Cheers. You dirty you dirty glass. You and you and you and you and you. And you. And you. Where's and my you. camera? And that you. one. And you and you and you <laughs> and you and you and me. Because I'm the dirtiest of glasses.